Hello class, today we'll be talking about Honda Motor Company. As some of you already know, uh, they're more or less an auto and motorcycle manufacturer. Uh, they started in Japan. We'll be diving into their supply chain management, the value chain, uh, some of their packaging for their cars and motorcycles. Uh, we'll be specifically looking at the Super Cub which is a motorcycle that was extremely popular in the 1960s and is going to be released in the U.S. in the upcoming year, uh, as well as some of the initiatives that they're taking in sustainability with their suppliers and so forth. So let's go ahead and start. The history of Honda Motor Company starts with a man named Sochiro Honda. It was unmatched determination to develop and manufacture a top-of-the-line motorcycle for the entire population to enjoy. With his determination, intuition, and manufacturing, assembling, and creating quicker machinery, he was able to produce his first type motorcycle known as the D-Type Dream in 1949. Till this day, Honda is, <clears throat> the company is known to have the largest manufacturer of internal combustion engines. It is also the second largest Japanese autom automobile manufacturer by volume, produces a significant amount of automobiles for the entire world, as well as the motorcycle industry. To provide customers with a timely, stable supply of better products and services, it is necessary to put significant effort into developing and optimizing supply chains with suppliers around the world, while also taking into account environmental and human rights issues. Honda is currently taking part in CDP supply chain program. In an international initiative by institutional investors requesting companies for disclosed information on climate change policies and requesting disclosure of risks and opportunities relations to greenhouse gas emissions and environment from suppliers in addition to information on matters relations to Honda's operational domain. With these values intake, Honda takes into account relationship with suppliers and builds trust within their network of network while also maintaining a high level of sustainability within it. They also look into maintaining their manufacturing plants around the world to the highest safety standards while maintaining equal pay for their workers across different nations. At Honda, many parts are used as products are sourced from, sourced from suppliers and transported to their plants. Then they are incorporated into the company's products and the completed models are sent directly from the plants to dealers. In addition to this, parts are also transported between plants and parts for services and repairs are sent to dealers. As such, due to the extremely large volume of transportation that takes place throughout the manufacturing process at Honda, increasing efficiency, reducing environmental burden, compliance and risk management, and logistics are becoming a critical issue. The role of Brent has shifted significantly recently in the motorcycle and automobile industry. From a lower rate of competition in which brand is used solely to defer particular product among other products, it functions just as a mere name or identifier. To a higher strict rate of competition in which a brand could determine the contribution in creating and maintaining a competitive of a product. Honda is known in both the automotive and motorcycle industry as one of the most reliable car and motorcycle manufacturers in the market. Because of this, many consumers feel an attachment and loyalty to the brand that continues to deliver on its promise of quality customer service and extraordinary reliability, especially in today's market where many motorcycles and autos continue to struggle with customers' relationship and reliability after the warranty has expired. When a consumer purchases a Honda motorcycle or a car, they leave a shopping room or dealership with confidence knowing that if any issues occur, Honda's unlimited miles powertrain warranty is the best in its class. With a significant amount of Honda dealerships across the United States and the world, finding a certified mechanic to fix, maintain, and help with any issues that may occur is what makes Honda the leading motorcycle and auto manufacturer in giving value back to its consumers. In Porter's value chain, we'll be looking at the primary activities. In the inbound logistics, Honda purchases the raw materials from several suppliers to gain advantages in quality and cost as much as possible. In operations, Honda has developed a small batch production system in which the same vehicles are sent down the assembly line in batches, then workers execute the same task for each batch, and components are delivered to the assembly line in the batches that exactly match the motorcycle or auto that will be fitted into. In outbound logistics, marketing and sales, Honda expanded several products and models that customers could choose among them and also has adopted a good production system that is related to its marketing and sales. In services, Honda is aiming to improve their relations with the consumer by being responsive to the service support throughout maintenance and repair and adopting a high level of transparency with their, with their customers. 
and support activities uh, that procured meant for several components, Honda arranges to purchase raw materials to gain advantages in price and quality. In technology development, Honda has a technologically innovative product developing new dual clutch transmissions, airbag system, combined ABS systems, and idling stop systems. The continuation of developing new and advanced technology in their motorcycles and cars allows them to have a competitive advantage over other manufacturers. In the firm infrastructure, which is possibly the most important thing, Honda <coughs> believes for business to be well run, it has to have collective decision making process and it utilizes it from its top executives. With the return of Honda's best selling motorcycle in the United States, the Super Cub, to be released in 2019, and its heydays in the 1960s, it sold over 100 million in the United States. To see what made the bike so popular, we're going to look into the motto of you meet the nicest people on Hondas and how they're able to expand that in the marketing to hit a market of the woman rider. Honda is working to reduce waste from packaging materials by simplifying packaging, rethinking the materials used and changing specifications. For example, with the relaunch of the Super Cub, we're going to see that they're going to start using more disposable transport packaging that uses cardboard boxes and steel cases or being switched over to reusable plastic containers to eliminate the use of steel cases. Uh, Honda's relaunch of one of its most successful motorcycles, the Super Cab, is fully entering the trend of the, the explosion of the small size engine motorcycles. And while captivating the woman rider and ultimately going for the full market share of the small engine side motorcycles. Looking at the risk analysis for Honda and the political risk in trade wars. Political risk can mean different things to different companies, and in different countries, it can encompass a degree of political violence in countries' rule of law and the prevalence of the corruption as much as economic stability and infrastructure. As we can see, the effects of political risk since 2008 has been on a rise and continues to cause issues for manufacturers and the supply chain. The biggest disruption in Honda's motorcycle industry is tariffs because the industry supply chain is global. In natural disasters, Natural disasters pose a massive threat to supply chains and can completely devastate entire sectors when production centers experience fires, floods, and earthquakes. The motorcycle industry certainly learned this lesson when Japan was hit by earthquakes and tsunamis. Due to the infrastructure and plant not receiving necessary work, the workforce parts and delivery supplies, it halted its operations in the Japan markets. The economic uncertainty, the global trade war, uncertainty over Brexit, and the stricter environmental regulations could become driving factors in putting financial pressure on lower tier industrial and auto and motorcycle suppliers, bringing the insolvency to the forefront of supply chain risk management in 2019. Honda is currently evolving its packaging and shipping methods in Vietnam by working to improve transportation efficiency in the shipping of motorcycles, vehicles, and equipment between plants, parts, services, and repairs, and parts collected from suppliers. In Vietnam, they are shifting their model form of transportation from conventional trucks to rail and ships for longer distance between its manufacturing plant in the north and its major market in the south. In the rail transportation, Honda is introducing freight cars specifically designed for shipping and automobiles with high load efficiency. As we can see in the chart, <clears throat> these rail cars can uh, contain up to eight vehicles. Uh, the model of transportation in Vietnam, you can also see that in the northern part to the south, instead of using your traditional trucks, they're going to be using rail and ship. Also, Honda is currently using disposable transport packaging that is using cardboard boxes and steel cases, and it's moving away from that to more reusable containers to eliminate the use of steel case and to reduce the packaging waste. What we can expect from Honda. Uh, with its massive supply chain that crosses across all seven continents, it is a major player in the worldwide market of motorcycles and automobiles. It's also a leading company that shows what an efficient use of supply chain can improve on their products and to their value of their consumers. Although all operations are capable of improvement, they are in the forefront of sustainability, implementation of technology, improving their value and packaging to produce a product that consumers will enjoy. In order to improve their current operations, it is essential to analyze and judge how their current operations are managed across all their manufacturing plants, distribution centers, and relationships with their suppliers. As a result of an enhancement of a risk, resilience, and information sharing across all of the platforms, Honda is capable of responding to national disasters, disruption in their supply chain, and adapt consumer demands. By implementing an effective 
method of sharing data across all their departments and across all their manufacturing plants, Hollywood will be able and is capable to respond swiftly to the external environment, such as political and economic uncertainties in the countries they operate. 